my name is Rhapsody and welcome to Enter the Gungeon, a farewell to arms. I have covered Enter the Gungeon many, many times in the past over every significant update that it has had from the very launch of the game to the beta for the supply drop, the eventual release of the supply drop, as well as advanced Dungeons and Dragons. I've done races to the past with Rito. I've done hundreds of episodes in basically every single one of those previous series. I am very well acquainted with this game. All of that to say, if you're unfamiliar with me, but familiar with Enter the Gungeon, hi, I'm pretty familiar with this game. Have a look in the top right corner. 4,910 hedge mini credits. I know roughly what I'm doing here. Uh, so I cannot wait to tear into the new content that has been included in A Farewell to Arms, the final and free patch to enter the gungeon. Uh, it features new guns, items, and synergies, two new playable characters to unlock, a new secret floor with unique enemies, and a new boss. Rainbow mode, a new mode inspired by the community where you start each floor with a rainbow chest but can only pick up one of the offered guns slash items. Uh, a new shrine based on the Beholster. Uh, unlockable alternate starting art for each of the weapons of the base characters. And, most importantly to me... You can now pet the dog. Honestly, they could have included exclusively that, and I would have been 100% thousand fine with it. Uh, so let's start the character rotation from the left here. So now I'm going to have to ha have a wee bit of a squeeze around here and see if... Soaked in the blood of the enemy. I have to kill some debt. All right, fine. Uh, just to see if there is... Anything updated in this area? Persistent you are. Okay, so just that same NPC there. Okay, okay, okay. We're all good. Let's have a look over here. Ooh, there's a new item. Okay. Magazine rack. We'll immediately buy that. Had to sit here. The other ledge seemed taken. Uh, going up there is to get back into the tutorial. I should at least quickly say something to each of these people. Sir Manuel. All right, never mind. Okay, so it looks like none of those has anything updated to say to me. How about you? No. One new item is sold by the Blobulon over here. Uh, Evolver 35. Ooh, sweet. Cannot read any of that text at the moment. Uh, there is apparently a new character that I can unlock in this area. I believe that is the rainbow mode character, although all of those are challenge modes currently. Uh, so they shouldn't have anything to say to me. Uh, amusements are primary currency. Shuffle off. Okay, nothing, nothing, nothing. Wow, there's actually nothing in here to purchase. Now that I did not expect. Well, at least each of the other shops had something. All right, let's go in. So we're not going, to play, uh, not going to be playing, rather, with any of the challenge modes enabled here. Just going to be playing kind of the base game, basically, right? And just trying to find any of the new content that we can. Uh, if we can risk things in order to try and unlock new content, that is to say, maybe go to a new floor or find a new NPC or something like that, then I am definitely going to risk it for those biscuits, but... Until such a time... Oh, okay. Uh, do I open that right now? No. I'll be back later. I probably want to force out a weapon on this floor. The red chest pool has actually been made more potent. This is a complaint that's existed with the game since the very start, which is that red chests are rare, but they're not appropriately powerful for how rare they are. Oftentimes, red chests will contain items that I don't want as much as I want green chests, which is a tier chest lower. Okay. I need me some keys. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Get the dynamite, get the dynamite, and have that clear the room for me. Thank you. So, I'm pretty comfortable clearing basically the first three floors with my base weapon. Uh, with most characters, I would say that's the case. Not the pilot, though. And also probably not the convict. The convict, I want to stop doing that on floor two. And the pilot, I just want a new weapon as soon as possible. 
So if I fight the boss without having picked up... Uh, well, not without having picked up a weapon, but without having opened a chest, I can force this boss to definitely give me a gun, and I do like my guns. They seem integral in a game called Enter the Gungeon. I'd like to be equipped with the namesake. This has actually been a pretty good pattern from the boss so far. I'm pretty comfortable with this. It's not doing any of the randomized circle attacks when I'm really backed up into a corner. Like, if it did it right now, I'd be mad. But it didn't. Sweet. It's half of the health bar down. Now, I haven't played this game in maybe... I want to say two, three months now? Has it been three months? Yeah, probably around there. So, I feel pretty good that my muscle memory is holding up as well as it is. I did want to practice a little before I actually started covering this update. But, the update came out earlier than I could get to practicing. And I didn't want to experience any content from the update off camera. So, I haven't really had any time to de-rust. So, this could be considered a de-rusting run. Ugh, Devolver? Really? I don't like that weapon. I think it's actually pretty bad. Okay. Just making sure that my mouse is functioning correctly and that none of those are mimics. I guess I'll just take that. All those hedge mini credits that I didn't collect will automatically come to me. Uh, for the first episode, I will probably... Not heavily tutorialize the game, but at the very least, I will say the non-obvious things that I'm doing. After that... I'm afraid you're on your own. Because <laughs> otherwise I... Ah! <laughs> I had to duck out right there. Because uh, otherwise I end up repeating the same thing every single episode. I have done that before. A lot. Alrighty then. At the very least, I did get one of those keys that I was asking for. And let me murder you. Let's try and find ourselves a shop. There's a guaranteed key in it because it's the first floor. Ooh, there it is. I will save my money rather than buy that right now. Hoping for the possibility that I find another store that's selling something that I want even more than a key for a red chest. Hey, it's possible. I haven't even... Did I pick up that key in the other room? I think I did. So I haven't seen any super obvious locations for a secret room yet. I should probably go back and check the adjacencies of the... Oh, God damn it, Ryan. Just don't walk into the bullets. It doesn't really matter if I take hits outside of the boss fight. It's only the boss fight that I really care if I take no hits. Because taking no hits... Uh just means that I am going to be picking up the master round for that combat. The master round being an increase in my max HP. What is this up here? Ooh, I can get stab bullets. 52. Okay, so that's 60% damage up near, near me, as well as 20% damage down far away from me. So it's, it's good as a modifier for close range weaponry. It's also just good in general, I've, I believe, because... I tend to stay relatively close to my enemies. Yes, that does make them a little bit more dangerous because I have less time to dodge their attacks. But it also means that my shots are much more likely to connect because the enemy is in the exact same position as me, right? They have a lot more difficulty getting out of the way of any of my shots. And it just means I can be a lot more accurate. It's just neat. Neat it that way. All right, so I'll be passing up one of the chests this floor so that I can take the stat bullets, I believe. Unless I manage to find the secret room. It's like two more locations for it. Ah, I did, didn't check this room yet. Cool. Well, there's a secret room, and unfortunately, it just gave me a blank. There is a possibility there's two secret rooms on a single floor, but it's it's quite low. Eh, Stonehead. It's okay. 
I'll take that in the stout bullets, and now you can see I'm just gonna get all up close and personal. Hell, that's actually the description of the item. Ooh hoo hoo! All right, badge, by the book. So I've got myself a cop friend here. When the cop friend dies, I will gain, I think, two and a half curse. But also 25% damage up. So I'm already on my way to having a pretty significant amount of curse for this run. I'll hold Stone Dome on my offhand, although I don't suspect I'll be using it constantly here. Basically, I don't want to expend ammunition as a resource if I don't necessarily have to, and the starter weapon has infinite ammo. I've often referred to this game as a resource management game in disguise. You're managing your ammo, your health, your active item usage, your curse, you know, all of those kinds of different things. And in particular, when I was streaking to the Lich, that being, well, the final boss up until this update, it might have a new final boss, I'm unfamiliar. But when I was doing the Lich streaking, literally the biggest thing that helped me consistently kill the Lich was managing my ammo a little bit better. So that I always made sure that I had a good amount of ammo in a weapon to kill the boss with, as well as for a weapon that helps me clear the floor. Yeah, touch unfortunate, uh, touch unfortunate to take damage there, but it shouldn't affect me at all. I got a key for it? All right, I guess. There's a portable table. Nothing. I'm not going to bother going to absolutely every single item and reading out exactly what they are from memory, but I will pretty much take every single new item. There's only one way to learn what they do, and that's to look at the wiki, but I could also, instead of doing that, just pick them up and see what they're about. And yes, I know that means there isn't only one way. Maybe I figured out the punchline while I was continuing the statement. Hmm? Exactly. Ah, oh, thank you, cop. I'm just gonna... There we go. As long as you know generally when the enemy is gonna be shooting, you can even preemptively roll outside of their attacks. Excelente. All right, so I've already picked up three keys this floor. That is a lot. I'm doing that. I'm not actually a huge fan of the blue chest pool. There's maybe like three or four different items in it that I actually like. Including guns and passives and actives. So. It doesn't really amaze me. Yep. Should be able to stone dome this enemy. Ooh, it's the Medusa. Okay, that's that's probably the best draw that I could have gotten here. I'm actually just going to blank that one because I didn't feel too comfortable with where I was standing when that attack started. As crude as it sounds to say, I'm very glad that police officer died. Give me your damage. No, I couldn't I couldn't get it whilst I was in combat apparently. Again, I'm blanking that just because I didn't like where I was standing when I started moving. But that's okay. Using the blanks to perfect this fight is totally worth it. I managed to pick up myself a... Another master round, kid. Hang on. What kind of voice are we going for? I'm gonna go Scottish. Kids, what's it up? Today might have been my last day on the forest. And I might have you. I might have only been down here because of you. But this isn't your fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You let me get hit by all those bullets, but... Sure, you could have given me one of those fancy guns you've been holding. 
But the point is, this ain't your fault. <laughs> Give my badge to my kids. Tell them I love them. Vengeance, we are now off the rails. Make sure that neither of those is a mimic. Saving for later only saves the heart for later on this floor. So it doesn't matter to do that at the end of a floor to save resources for later. It doesn't necessarily work like that. Unless there's an item that means that it does work like that. Like, I am actually working with an incomplete set of information about the game now, which is unique because for a very long time, I knew pretty much everything there is to know about this game. Except for Magnificence. Magnificence was something that always eluded me. Just how that mechanic worked in particular. It's the mechanic that tries to make sure that you don't find too many extremely overpowered items. I'm using the Shot Grub here where usually I wouldn't. I actually don't rate this weapon. I think it's quite poor. But... I'm using it here where I otherwise wouldn't due to the fact that I have stout bullets. So up close and personal with a shotgun, I mean, that just seems fitting. If I could get basically any other shotgun in the entire game, I'd prefer that. Including but not limited to the regular shotgun from the brown chest ball. The lowest chest pull. One of the characters starts with a sawn off version of it as a starter weapon. It's not great. But I'd prefer it to this. Okay. Oh, right. I could have gone to the oubliette. I forgot that the oubliette even existed. That's the secret floor between floors one and two. I would have needed a couple more keys to feel comfortable about doing it though. So I just got a passive, which means this is a blue gun chest. Blue guns are overwhelmingly bad on average. So I think I avoid taking that. I might take the Nord key here. Hell yeah, let's do that actually. That sounds like a better idea. That said, I should still be destroying these chests, even if I don't want them myself. So anything that I need to care about this floor doesn't look like it. Let's bounce. I've got to remember to actually keep an eye out for the rats on the ground that will alert me to the entrance to another secret level. Ooh, hoo, hoo. a cell key. What is unlocked? That is probably going to unlock the NPC that gives us rainbow mode. So I have to imagine that that's going to be the thing that I do next episode. Oh, I see you. That is to say... Those rats on the ground I have spotted. I now know that the entrance to the next level is in this room. All I have to do is move around until the dust clouds under my feet are much larger than I would have expected. And then... Oh, it's here. And then run around that area for a while until I reveal the entrance. Now, I'm not immediately going to go here, but I will immediately unlock it so that I don't forget to come... Uh, so that I don't forget to keep the resources, which is to say a key and a blank, to get in here. I too often forget these resources, so... Oh, I'm actually faster than the card rolling, right? So it's two blanks and a key. So that's where I want to go at the end of the level to get out of here rather than the standard exit. Sweet. What an easy clear right there. A lot of them are going to be like that for a while. The stout bullets are particularly neat. That's the first red heart damage I've taken this entire run. Not pleased to have taken it, but... What, it's my third hit in three floors? I'm okay with it. So I've got two damage up modifiers at the moment. When you stack enough damage up modifiers, basically every weapon in the game becomes good. Right. 
see that enemy that ran away from me? It holds an item, so I must kill it as quick as possible. Hey, hey that's an ammo pack that gives me 50% of ammo for the weapon I am currently holding, as well as 25% ammo for all of the other ones. There we go. And we are completely refilled on all of our weapons. I'm just gonna roll around keeping you as far away from me as possible. That said, I've got all of these jammed enemies appearing because my curse level is quite high. I'm comfortable with that though. I've dealt with worse. As much as I would like to open that green chest right now, I really re- Oh no! I hate this. It had to be cursed? Sorry, it's not cursed in this game, right? The nomenclature in this game is jammed? Had to be jammed? Question mark? Alright. I might not perfect here. Well, there's the only blank that I have, and I've already used it, so... Guess what I'm saying is, that's cause not to feel so confident. That said, we're definitely getting pretty generous attack patterns from the enemy here. We're getting some of the easier ones to dodge, as well as some of the easier ones to deal damage to the enemy while dodging. No! Yeah, that's exactly where I would have blanked again, but unfortunately, I had to invest two of my blanks already for the sake of the exit entrance to the secret room. Damn. Only took that one hit. That's really rough. Alright, so I miss out on my master. But... Get myself Strafe Gun. Bleeding Edge gameplay. It also has a synergy with... Devolver. Ah, right. Of course. Because Strafe is a game published by Devolver Digital. So what is it that it does? What is it that it does? I need to know what this synergy does so that I can actually play using it effectively. Tell me, video game. Strafe, gun, gungeon, wiki. Alright, easy. I must know. Cool Click Club. Uh, if the player has the devolver, constantly moving with the strafe gun held gives the player a yellow glow, increasing movement speed. The glow disappears if we stop moving, so... Oh, sweet. I do like extra movement speed, so you've got my number on that one. That said, I'm not a fan of the strafe gun. Right. And there's nothing that's less safe than moving when you don't want to be moving. Especially if you end up working yourself into a mindset of I must always be moving. A lot of the time you'll end up just moving into bullets you otherwise might have dodged. I've found, at least. It's doing pretty well for the clears at the very least, though. That's a AK-47. AK-47's... JK-47?! Okay, well now I need to get the money to buy that because it's a new item. The JK-47? So it's a joke AK-47, right? That's the obvious read of that. Why? Ah ha Okay, so a key to unlock this and then there's the cell with... Hey! Thank you for saving me! My name is Bowler! Bowler for short! I've got a great offer for you! Just meet me in the breach and I'll tell you all about it! <laughs> That's just what the character looks like it'd be doing. 
Uh, me thing you. It is kind of like a more subtle version of the the choose goose voice from from Adventure Time, but that's also kind of like already a comic archetype voice. So I don't feel so good stealing from something that was inspired by something else. Also, it's not stealing. Uh, so there's two green chests and I have to turn them both down. But I also don't actually have enough money to pick up the JK47. So I may as well just pick up a key. I know there was one on offer. I'll take that. Mine cutter. Okay, I'm actually a huge fan. Very glad to see it. Uh, so there's also a gun muncher here. I may want to munch two of my guns just to get rid of them. I'll munch the stone dome. It's a green weapon. It had one curse. If I munch another green weapon, I can get a green weapon back for guaranteed. But I'm just going to munch the devolver. I don't care about that synergy. So I could get a blue or a green here. Eh, moon scraper. It's a blue, but it's pretty good. It's probably better than either of the weapons I threw in. I did not know that you were a mimic. I thought I'd already checked both of them. Well, good work on dealing damage to me. Aha! Uh -huh. Magic bullets. Sufficiently advanced. Obviously a reference to the quote. Any magic sufficiently... Uh, sorry, any technology significantly advanced enough is indistinguishable from magic. Is there anything else I need to do on this floor? Because I'm feeling like a strong no on that one. Very glad that I did all of my resource handling already. And I have a pretty good weapon set. Yeah, I should, I should have, like, a really good shot at killing the, the rat here. I say really good shot. I should definitely kill the rat here. Unless I'm just rusty as hell and I just take a bunch of damage on the way to the rat and in the rat fight. I mean, you know, it's possible. I don't want to get too cocky about it. Uh, overconfidence is dangerous. That's what they always say, right? Be aware of that overconfidence. Oh, oh no. I forgot the path. There's an exact path that you need to go. I think it's left, left, down, 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 right, right, up. But I'm going to quickly double check it. Oh, wait. Yeah, I'll double check it in the Aminomicon, of course, because it's unique for each player. Uh, ooh, just a lot of items getting unlocked here. Wild. Uh, it's unique for each player, and the items in the Aminomicon at the very bottom here tell you. So it is... That's not left. Oh, sorry. When I said left, I meant right. Invert those two directions. I can't tell left from right. Right, down, 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 left, left. Okay, right, down, down, left, left. I was close-ish. Right. Down. Down. Right? Is it down three times or two times? Immediately forgot. Wow. Down, down, down. Three. Sweet. So down one more time after this and then left until I get there. Right, down one more time and then left until I get there. I immediately forgot. So, the magic bullets give us the chance to transmog our enemies into... into chickens, which is effectively an insta-kill. Again, I do have to get real close to these enemies so that I can benefit from these stout bullets as much as possible. Sweet. Uh, so we should hit that in here and then any other weapon that's not entirely full gets filled. I don't know if there's any reason to use anything not the mine cutter here. Work, big cheese. I hate this attack. It always hits me. Hey, we actually managed to dodge it that time. Yeah, 
Well, that one hit me at least. The enemy perfectly positioned that poison to lock me into pretty much assuredly taking damage there. What the hell? I'll blank that because I'm pretty certain I was about to take damage. Alright, so three hearts for the second section. <sighs> three hearts, two blanks. Okay. Yeah, if I'm on my game, I should be fine. And so far, it looks like I am. I was getting a little dicey there. I didn't set myself up well to dodge. I, I hate that attack, and I actually don't know how to dodge it. I always have a blank ready for it. But... Uh, I'm actually going to change weapon here. Just because I'm at a pretty severe range, so. Damn it, it's not like my previous weapon was doing that well. Alright, so halfway through the boss's enemy... Okay, I think I figured out how to dodge it. That said, I still took two damage. Took another hit there as well, but there's our kill. All right, so now I've got to do the boxing mini game. This one is probably going to screw me over, uh, but okay, lock. All right, I got the ticket. Even perfected the first, uh... Da -da -da -da. Ah. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it! Oh, uh, that was a block attack, right? Okay, got a critical hit there, that's neat. Got a lot of damage in. Crit hit to kill. Ah, I should dodge that. Whoops. I might actually get this done. I don't always kill the rats, so this is kind of unique for me. Come on. Haha! <laughs> I knew I could do that. Lock them all. And... There we go! That's killed the rat. Hell yeah, I could have... If I got a uh, another crit hit so that I could have special killed in there, that would have been really good, but oh well, we didn't. All right, what's this? Admit one. Ticket, do you have yours? Well, I definitely have to take that, right? It's new. It's probably relevant to the new secret. I'll take the ballistic for the speed up there. I'll take frost bullets, which synergizes with what that I currently have? Oh, cold ones. It's a cold one synergy. I have no clue, but it's probably not relevant right now to check. Hey, another new item. Let's read the descriptions of these new items that we've just picked up, by the way. Uh, we've got Evolver. This gun adapts. While some have disputed the claim that a gun can change shape or adapt to its new environment within the gungeon, this weapon appears to be an irrefutable proof of the phenomenon. Since its discovery... The number of self-proclaimed gunvolution deniers has increased by 
There's also the active item, summons Gatling Gull as an ally. Gatling Gull rep respects martial prowess in Gungeoneers. Spend this ticket to bring in the big guns. Oh, that is going to be dope as hell. Pity for me, my story is a tragedy, and then I'm just going to skip through the entire story. Uh, if you haven't seen the story of this character, in my previous series, I have my first kill against this character. It has all of the story and those kinds of things explored, but I'm not necessarily going to go into that here. Uh, I should, however, take this and use it to drop some ammo. Alright, what do I actually want to do here is the big question. Are any of these mimics? No, so I can open all four of those if I'd like. In fact, I think I just will. So now I'm going to become the rat by picking up a synergy for having collected absolutely all of these items. Ta-da! I'm the rat now! Oh, that looks good! I'm liking love in it. I think I'm going to try and go for the... No, I would have needed two of those keys here. I forgot about that. I was thinking of going for the advanced dragon, but... Oh, well. Already screwed that up for myself. Whoops. That's more than okay, though. It's not too much of a problem. <sighs> All right. Let's bounce out of here. So we are now really powerful. Uh, the new weapons, I should just focus on using those, right? Just seems the right thing to do. Partially eaten cheese is occasional intangibility for us. Okay, so it evolves and adapts. I wonder if that means if I kill enough of a certain enemy, it picks up an effect. Adaptation. But, because... I've got to be real with you, right now, this gun is garbage. Like, the Elementaler would be so much better. The Elementaler being the gun that I picked up last floor as the rat. Or rather, to transform into the trap. Uh, the... I do trust that this weapon is going to get better over the course of using it, though. So let's keep going. And with the damage up available to us, like at the very least, this weapon isn't as bad as it could be. Like I can only imagine this weapon with no damage up picked up at this point. You're going so downtown. Maybe it's for killing a boss with it that it does something. Oh, hang on. No, nope, it's already looking different. Does it have a different description now, though? No, it doesn't. Well, that's good. Um... I can put out the fuse right with this. Nope, never mind. Accidentally shot that to death. Next time, use a key. Eh, I don't really care about that chest anyway, so... I'm not too sad to lose it. So I was right. This weapon does seem to be adapting. Although, you know, how hard is it to be right in this circumstance, right? The description very clearly implies what it's going to do. It might be just for killing a certain amount of enemies. That's what a lot of weapons do. Like, I think it's amount of rooms cleared to see whether or not Gunther respects you. Gunther being a black tier item, the highest tier item in the entire game that has a similar mechanic to this. Okay, so this one doesn't just get better. It completely changes the type of gun it is. It is currently a shotgun, and I love that. That's something that Gunther doesn't do. Change the type of gun that it is. 
But it does also look like I am kind of just gradually evolving through the stages of uh, evolution. I mean, look. <laughs> yes, the game directly said that, pretty much. But I want to see what the pinnacle of this is. Am I going to be firing another Gungeoneer? I'd like to say at this point, I have purposely, other than the patch notes that I read at the very start there that say what new content exists in the game, just broadly, like two new characters, one new floor, one new boss, etc. I have broadly stayed spoiler-free for this DLC. Like, even going so far as to avoid screenshots. Oh, cool. There's just a cell creep in a room. Did you bring something? Sweet. So this is a new secret type of room. I Well, not secret, but a new special type of room, I have to imagine, that gives you a cell creep. Sell creep just means that I can sell stuff to you and you'll give me money for them. So I actually have a couple things I want to sell to you. I'll sell you all of these guan stones because they're temporary. And this trash. I don't care about it. None of the rest of those do I want to get rid of. I could get rid of like almost all of my guns right now, but I don't think that's a great idea. Shot Grub does have some pretty good synergies. I hate strafe gun and it's like really expensive. So I'm getting rid of it. It's not for everyone. Like it might be your favorite gun, but it's it's just not for me. I've never particularly enjoyed using it. And I also don't think it's that powerful. I think it's a red tier gun. It might be a black tier gun. I may have forgotten. In fact, having forgotten seems likely. Oh, ho, ho. So I have some sort of an amphibian going on right now. It's interesting. It is cycled between a lot of the different types of guns that already exist in the base game. Fine. I'll try and use the evolver. For no, I can't use the evolver for this. It's so bad when compared to a weapon that penetrates in this fight. Specifically, because you can hit four targets at once with a weapon that penetrates in this fight. You're dealing four times the that Well, not four times the damage. Right, in this game, when a shot penetrates the first target, it does less damage to subsequent targets. And if you don't mind, Kill Pillar, I'll just be taking that master round. Thank you very much. In fact, if you do mind, I'm still going to be taking that master round, I'm sorry to say. We are so healthy right now. It's great. Just checking for secret rooms with these shots. Already checked around this room, right? I should have at least. Top and left of this room both look suspect. At the very least, the left does now. Nothing doing. All right. I have found the shop and gone there, yes? Good, good, good. Just making sure that the shop doesn't have something magnificent in it that I'm missing because I haven't forgotten to go. We got to swap weapon back. Whoops. Getting out the Evolver. So I wonder, how late can I pick up the Evolver and still be comfortable using it as my only weapon? Because I probably wouldn't have been comfortable using it if I didn't have the two damage ups that I currently have. Oh my god, it's now... Oh my god, it's very powerful now. It seems to have become a dragon. 
Now, I don't remember the stage of evolution where we became dragons, but... I never did pay that much attention in biology class. <laughs> That's a lie I did. <laughs> I really liked that class, actually. Uh, had a good teacher for it. All right. Uh, let's go get our map results. We get Phoenix, born in flame. Okay, so nothing particularly interesting. And then I can kind of just bounce. Should flank this room. And then just like a couple other rooms just in case there's a secret room and I happen to reveal it. All right. No revelation there. So I've unlocked one new NPC and a couple of new items. But I haven't seen anything significantly out of the ordinary. That is to say, that looks like it might be a secret that would help me unlock a new character or a floor or a boss. It's not like I'm distressed about that. I've got time, but I'd very much like to figure it out myself rather than... rather than have to read it or any of those kinds of things. Damn it. I wasn't quick enough on my roll there. That's my bad. Whoa! Can't believe it put me in fire. It's wild as hell. The rat boots are giving me the ability to walk over the pits here, by the way. Just in case you're wondering. This gun is okay. It's not that great as a room clear. But the thing is, I don't know. This gun might evolve again. So, I kind of have to use it. I suspect it won't. It definitely feels like it's at its final. But I'm not certain. And I won't be certain for a while. I will be laboring huh, under the weight of all of the knowledge I don't have for a while. Ah, there we go. Gotcha. Bouncy bullets. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I'm down with that. I lost a piece of armor. I'm basically dead now. How am I going to survive with the rest of my... Oh. Ah. Almost didn't spot you. Thank... Thanks to the glint. I just managed in time, though. Hey, and a piece of armor. Now I feel safe again. Uh, I'm definitely being a little too cocky at the moment. Sorry about that. I'm just happy to be playing this game again. I've always, always, always enjoyed my time with this game. It has this just really, really well-designed gameplay loop and flow state. You get into the flow state so quickly in this game. just feels so good to play. Oh, Omega Bullet. Sorry, no, no not Omega Bullets. Uh, plus one to Bullet. That's just 25% more damage. Laser Sight, that's uh, weapon spread down. Secret room filled with a bunch of free chests. And one of them has to give me a synergy if it gives me any item. It gives me the green Guan Stone. The Medal of Valor, and I have the greener Guanstone Synergy. The Medal of Valor is like 25% damage more versus bosses, as well as a giant accuracy up as well. Okay. Hexagon has the sufficiently advanced Synergy. Yep, with Chicken Arise. And I also get... Just, this is a ridiculous run now. This is absolutely patently insane. Uh, I'm going to go back and get the drum clip so that I have to reload less often. And it also has a synergy with... 
Dr. Worm? Uh, barrel clip? This is called barrel clip. No, it's called drum clip. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Drum clip. There we go. I want to know what this is doing. Drum clip has the synergy with Heck Blaster, where the ammo just replenishes slowly. All right, never mind. It's not that interesting. So now we have a ridiculous amount of accuracy up. The shot grub is really good. See how those shots can't spread far? Usually the shot grub's shots spread really, really far, and it's kind of unwieldy to use and unreliable for that reason. But no, not here. Not today. I'm very much hoping that the new boss is after the Lich. That is to say, the previous end boss for a run. Just because that would imply that it's more difficult than the Lich. And while the Lich is definitely no joke, uh, after... After streaking it earlier on in a different series, I'm I'm no longer really afraid of the Lich. Eh. Rattler's also really good as another shotgun. So it's got a pretty good spread. It also does a lot of damage. You can see it's single hitting basically every enemy. And it has a long range shot that it does as well. It does a single pulse of like a laser. So you can even fire it at range in a pinch. It's less effective, sure, but it does it. Which is neat. I need to keep using the Evolver. I've got ammo back for it as well now, so. Because, like, there's no point in me to... Oh, my God. The red... The red Gungeoneer there took one of my shots that's very important for me to keep. There we go. Just had to play a little bit more mindfully for a couple of seconds there. I mean, I can take Napalm Strike. I just don't know. Why I would. Phoenix up. Yeah. So if I hold out this, I'll have a Phoenix Familiar, and the Phoenix Familiar just follows us around and shoots at our enemies. Not super into it. Definitely doesn't seem necessary either. All right. Let's go have a little bit of a look for other places where the secret room could be. One other thing. You know the ruby bracelet? If you see it, can you bring it to me? New thing! New thing! I suppose you want a bullet. Well, here you are. Sweet. So I now know that I need to bring the Ruby Bracelet to this area. Ruby Bracelet is a passive that is also from the brown chest pool. So that means it is incredibly common. You oftentimes see it in stores, right? So I'll just pick it up if I happen to see it. All right. Let's start with the Volva and put the Dueling Laser on the offhand. The Dueling Laser doesn't have ammo, but it does reload itself over time. Uh, as you deal damage. Yep. So you'll hear a tick when it's ready. Uh, okay. Accidentally got onto the wrong weapon there. I'm very familiar with these boss attack patterns, so... I'm pretty much just going to be standing exclusively in the safest position to be fighting. For all of these. I am very glad that the enemy hasn't summoned the daggers yet, but I was so prepared to kill them. If you blank at the right time when the enemy summons daggers, uh, you can actually kill both of them with the blank. It's very neat and extremely effective especially if you're fighting a jam dragon it can be life-saving sweet that was actually a one cycle kill on the heart that's not super common although the dps that is required to trigger boss armor that is to say 
if you get above a certain amount of damage per second, the boss starts to take less damage. Um, but that cap has been moved, so it's a little bit more generous to the player now, which I really appreciate because boss armor was probably one of the worst things about this game, in my opinion. That's not to say, you know, that the game is bad or anything like that. I just... I think every single Gungeon player that has played, you know, a fair amount of the game has a problem with the boss armor. There's probably not a rat past, but there might be. Ooh. Okay, I, I'm actually just going to quickly check if there's a rat past because I would hate to avoid doing it. I would hate to avoid doing it if there is one. Uh, so I can... Uh, an NPC, find, find, find. Seeing a boss added, phase two, phase three. Hit those punches, get the rat keys. Okay, okay. Doesn't say anything about a past here. P-A-S-T. Bullet can kill the past. No, it just says there's a bullet that can kill the past. Oh, God. If there is a rat past and... I don't get it here. I'm going to be mad. But it's also possible that there's something new in hell. So I don't know which to do. I'm doing this. I I hope that I haven't made an awful decision there. But unfortunately, I can't tell. All right. Hello, bullet hell. God, those items, though. I'll also put the hexagon in here so that... Actually, I might even use the hexagon. Like, it should one-shot basically everything that isn't jammed. Okay. It should one-shot basically everything that isn't jammed, but also its shot speed is immediate, so I can take out, like, particularly frustrating targets really quickly. on. Got him. Oh, sweet. This is the shortest path I could have taken. I will actually full complete hell as well because, again, there's a possibility that something has changed here. But I will take the absolute shortest path to get to the Lich that I have the ability to do. Because there are a couple of rules about how hell spawns. That is to say, the map layout of hell. And I know them all pretty well. So I should just be able to rush through these. Okay, so that could go out. That can't. Okay, so I just don't go down that middle one. I'm going to guess that it's this is the correct path. But if it starts to loop back around, then I know I was wrong and I have to turn back. I always thought that my shooting in this game would prepare me a little bit better for first person shooters. And then I played a first person shooter for the first time in a couple of years and no. Well, a couple of years. I've played Overwatch over the course of that time, but for some reason, I don't really consider Overwatch a first-person shooter. It, it it demonstrably is. Don't get me wrong. But when I think of first-person shooters, I don't think of it. I think of it basically just as a multiplayer game that I play to dick around with a friend. Easy pathing. I should change to another weapon just for these. Because there's so many of them. And the hexagon has so little max ammo that it's out already. Okay, so every single room I've gone to, every single selection I've made, so one of three, one of two... Uh, sorry, one of three, one of three, one of three. Every one of those has been correct so far. Here it is literally just a one in three, though. 
there's not too much I can do other than like read the borders of the map. So reading the borders of the map, you effectively want to decide how large you think this map is and what a square drawn around the map would look like. Oh, sweet. This is actually the correct path as well. Great. You want to decide how large you think the map is and what a square drawn around the map would look like. And any room that violates that square probably isn't a, in your map. So if you think, hey, the boss room is only in this direction if I can continue going left, but it looks like that would make the map non-rectangular, then it's probably not in that direction. So I didn't go out this way for that reason. And I didn't go down for that reason because it makes sense for the map to terminate basically where I'm drawing my mouse right now. But I knew that the map was tall from here, so I knew that I could easily start going up. Anyway, I'm not going to go to the Lich until I complete the entire floor. Okay. Also, there might actually now be a benefit to perfectly killing the Lich. Because there wasn't prior, and it really felt like there should have been. But also, I am sympathetic uh, to the fact that locking items, especially good items, behind extremely late things like that. Like, that's something that you'll get to do very late in your Gungeon career, like after 20, 40 hours depending on the type of player you are. And locking that behind the Lich, to some people, will feel bad. In fact, it would to me as well, so... I'm fine with there not being anything for perfecting the Lich. It's just there might be. So I might as well make my best effort at doing it. Well, that's easy. So the Evolver is two-shotting basically everything as well. So there should only be about four more rooms to clear. One off to the left here. Right, and then a loop that connects these two rooms. It's funny, some of the worst rooms in hell I've managed to avoid. So that means they will probably be on this path. And I'm just optionally going to them for the possibility of unlocking a new... Beautiful, that'll get the hexagon full and ready. And yeah, just the one room left and it's... Hey, actually, it's not the garbage room. Okay, so the garbage room actually just didn't even spawn this time. Garbage room being my least favorite room in hell. Actually, I did already find my absolute least favorite room in hell. It's this one over here. But... With the weaponry that I have, it's, it's not too much of a problem. I'm only going to summon the... Yeah, I'm only going to summon for the absolute final phase of the Lich. Because I don't know if I summon earlier than that. Is the Gatling Gold going to stay around for all three phases? Possibly not. Phase one down. Um, I don't have any penetrative shot or anything like that. Well, I do on half of my... Actually, no. I Hexagon 
and dueling laser. Both of those are penetrative. I was thinking I don't have any penetrative shot modifiers, but I do just have my base penetrative shots. Keep it going. And then I hate this attack pattern, so I make myself invincible throughout it. There goes the second phase of the Lich. Time for the final phase. I hope I get to execute my favorite trick here. I'll talk about it should I get to. Uh, let me just quickly swap weapons here. Get all up in your business. And beautiful, if you blank at exactly the right time when the enemy starts that attack, you completely prevent them from doing it. And as a result, take no damage. So that's a perfect lich. Okay, I can't just use that to kill the Gatling Gull. Or myself, or the Phoenix. All right, fine, we'll kill the lich. Sweet. Let's see if that has changed anything in our breach. If not, then that was a fun episode to show off the Admit 1 ticket as well as the Evolver. Start to learn a little bit more about those. Now that I've used each of those once, I'll read their wiki page so that I know all of the information about them. I've had my blind experience with them. Now I need to know what they exactly do. All right, let's check out this. Let's check out this breach. Whoa, okay, you've got two, uh, two new items now. Welcome again to Doug's Traveling Emporium. It's back, get a load of the quality wares. We get the scouter. I wonder what it says about the power level. And the orbital bullets. Sweet and neat. Anything in any of those. Nothing over there. Nothing over there. The rainbow mode is here, so I'm definitely going to be doing that next episode. Well, still nothing going on here, but we're standing in a different position up there, Cadence. I wonder if that's relevant at all. For the moment, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Enter the Gungeon, A Farewell to Arms, the final update in Enter the Gungeon's lifespan. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. There is a playlist in the description down below with all of my content on this game, past, present, and future, as well as, sorry, including uh, playlists for each and every series I've done on this in the past. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.